So as we're showing more gameplay videos, it's uh, probably time to show the uh, new wolf badge, the heads up display up there in the corner. Uh, we showed some of it a while ago, but we continuing to work on it. And uh, so let's take a look. Here's the red and the green bars are, as always, um, your health and energy. So last year when we were designing this initially, uh, we were very focused on the wolf physiology in terms of eating and not um, just going on killing sprees and eating um, over and over and over again. You know, wolves kill to eat and then they need to digest and fill up and usually rest some while they're digesting before they grow hungry and want to hunt again. So we designed these with that in mind, as you'll see in a minute. Um, I didn't want to keep adding meters for every physiological need, so really didn't want to put a uh, hunger meter in there. But then playing the game, I realized uh, it was very clear when you were um, digesting and uh, didn't have the energy to eat. But actually, it wasn't clear when you were hungry. It's like, hey, need some food here. So the orange meter here is your hunger meter. And it shows how full your tummy is. So right now it's half full. So uh, getting a little hungry. Time to go look for some food. Um, the purple meter is your... Uh, sleepiness because we have this dynamic day-night cycle and um, instead of just requiring the player to decide you know at some point they may or may not want to sleep in the current game you can just you can never sleep uh, you can go through your entire uh, arc of the gameplay and never sleep once now we're building a much more naturalistic model of the wolf physiology and sleep is an important part of that so let's see how this works uh, let's go hunting Gonna speed this up some. Okay, now you can see, found some mule deer, some time has passed. Um, it's late in the day now and my energy is very low. Why is that? Because I'm getting very sleepy. Just too tired to do more. So it's time to sleep. So tap the Z key, go down, boom, take a nap. Time passes rapidly while you're sleeping, of course. And you can see that even while you're sleeping here so you know how long you've been asleep and uh, when you want to get up. Full bar of energy, well, not quite full. Um, I've only slept uh, half of my uh, sleep debt, is what we call it. We'll sleep about 16 hours a day, and uh, so I just slept probably about eight hours, so you can see the purple bar is only half full. So let's sleep again for a little while. I'll uh, get that uh, sleep debt completely erased, catch up so we are at uh, full capabilities. And uh, well, now we wake up and it's uh, begun to rain. I know that a lot of people would like to have a cave or a den or something like that, but those really are just for the little pups. Dave Meech, uh, one of the world's uh, top uh, wolf scientists and one of our advisors, likes to say on this topic, a wolf does have a home, it's called its body. So I know when I sleep, I want to get in the most comfortable position. So we've given your wolf four different laying down and sleeping positions now. You've got the classic uh, laying down pose from the original game, but then want to relax a little bit and uh, slide your hips out to the side or curl around a little bit. And then if you're feeling kind of uh, kind of chilly, you can curl up in, in a tight little ball and go to sleep that way. So sleeping, of course, fulfills this physiological need that uh, mammals have for sleep. Um, it's also conveniently a way to pass the time quickly. So the best time for hunting prey is generally at dawn and dusk. So you're sitting around all day, what are you gonna do, play cards or something? No, just take a nap. A couple hours will pass quickly and then you can wake up and uh, go find those herds that are out grazing at dusk. So we're very excited about how this new wolf physiology system uh, has come together and will create a new uh, dimension of immersion into uh, a wolf's life when you play Wolf Quest 3. Mm -hmm.